Managing store inventory for all but the largest or custom-developed online stores is a pretty simple but manual process. We can set up our store to just ignore our inventory altogether, and that allows orders regardless of inventory, which may be the case if you don't personally warehouse or fulfill orders. We can also set our store to track stock counts and do one of two things. Once a stock count of a particular item reaches zero, we can display an out-of-stock message or hide the SKU altogether until the inventory is refreshed. So let's go ahead and see how this is managed in the admin. So in the admin, the first thing we'll want to do is click Site Setup and go to Product Display at the bottom here. Now let's go ahead and scroll down, and here's the checkbox that allows back orders. If this is checked, then we'll allow back orders. Otherwise, we'll allow customers to buy more than what we have in our inventory count. And I'll show you where that goes in a moment. This may be the case if there really is no inventory. Let's say it's an intangible product or something they can download, like a PDF or that sort of thing. Or if you don't personally stock or warehouse the products and you're having it drop shipped from somewhere else where the manufacturer always has it in stock, then you really wouldn't worry about inventory. If you have a specific amount of product, you may not want to allow them to back order it because then customers get upset because they don't get their shipment very soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck that so we don't want to allow back orders. And we save that.